Hello everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering Shiloh's Updates. Licensed Civil Engineer How to get license after completing graduation in Civil Engineering? Every Civil Engineer must have this license in their hand so that they can start their own construction company or any consultancy office or they can get big projects also by using this license. This license is very important. You have to take after completing graduation in civil engineering. I will tell whole procedure of about how to get license in this video. So don't skip this video and watch until last. There are many licenses are there in state level. The first one is LBS. LBS means Licensed Building Surveyor. Second one is Licensed Architect. Third one is Licensed Builder. Fourth one is Licensed Structural Engineer. The first step to get license is you have to register in Municipal Corporation or Municipal Council. This Municipal Corporation or Municipal Council is one of the basic structure of administration in Indian government system. Without getting this license or commencement certificate from the planning authority, no person shall carry out any development work which includes development of land by laying out into suitable plots or development of any land as group housing scheme or to erect, re-erect or any alterations they can't do without this license even to demolish any building we should need license then only we can give approve to demolish any building and also if you want to practice civil engineering in Chennai district you need to get license from Chennai city municipal corporation likewise if you want to practice civil engineering in Bangalore district you need to get license from Bangalore City Municipal Corporation. This is the basic procedure. Okay, now when to begin this licensure process? For that first you must meet the eligibility requirements which includes graduating with an engineering degree plus 4 years experience in construction field. Then you are ready to begin the licensure process which can take up to a year. Apart from local municipalities, national level licenses are being issued by institution of engineers. In India, engineers with a bachelor's degree in engineering from an university must be licensed or registered with municipalities in order to submit public plans, designs or drawings for approval. Now let's see about the registered engineer and registered architect. What is mean by this registered engineer and registered architect? Let's see now. In general, if we take a house plan, even if it is a small house plan or a big house plan, we need approval, isn't it? That is, we need a licensed engineer's signature. Then only we can start that construction work. Or if you have completed civil engineering and you need to start any construction office, you require a license. Okay, how to get license in registered engineer and registered architect type? If you take only these registered engineer, there are three categories. Grade 1, Grade 2 and Grade 3. If you take registered architect, there are only two categories. Grade 1 and Grade 2. How to differentiate this grade 1, grade 2, grade 3 which comes under registered engineer. If you have completed BE or BTEC in civil engineering, for grade 1 engineers, 10 years experience is required in construction field. For grade 2 engineers, 5 years experience is required in construction field. And for grade 3 engineers, 3 years experience is required in construction field. If you have completed diploma in civil engineering, you will fall under grade 3 category. And for diploma candidate, you require 5 years experience. 
if you are in grade 1 category that is if you have 10 years experience you can approve any layout development plan or any high rise building also you can approve high rise building means the height of building which is greater than 18.3 meter you can approve such high rise buildings also and also you can approve layout development plan in which the land area is more than 10 hectares if you are in grade 2 category that is 5 years experience you can approve building which is less than 18.3 meter in height and also you can approve layout development plan only up to 5 hectares if you are in grade 3 category you can approve only small development projects so this is the main difference between these grade 1, grade 2 and grade 3. Now let's see about the four types of membership in civil engineering field. The first one is chartered engineer. We can refer it as C.ENG that is chartered engineer. Second one is fellow FIE. Third one is member MIE and fourth one is associate member. Here, the most prestigious civil engineering membership in India is Chartered Engineer, C.ENG. If you have this membership, you no need to have the local municipality licenses. You will be exempted from their policies. Second one is Fellow FRE. For this, 40 plus age is required. Third one is Member MIE. For this, 30 plus each is required and fourth one is associate member for this 21 plus each is required. I hope this video gives you a brief idea about how to get license in India. If you like this video, kindly subscribe Civil Engineering Shairo's updates. Click this bell icon and also click on so that my uploads will directly come in your notification box. Share this video to everyone, especially to civil engineers and do support civil engineering Shiro's updates. If you want free PDF of engineer quotation for house construction, kindly check the procedure given in description box. And also if you have any doubt, you can comment below in the comment box. And also, you can mail me. My mail ID is shinosupdates at gmail.com. Thank you. We are doing 3D elevation design work at really affordable cost with unique design. If you want, you can contact 93539 You can check our Facebook page, Kartik Designs also. In that page, we have posted the recent design also. Thank you.